Lovely. It does sound like it's going to be a pretty good bank holiday weekend, all in all. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. So we are here with Bill Dale again, uh, who receives mail from the Queen all the time now. <laughs> Which, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> it it, it is very nice. <laughs> Two letters, yeah. How, how wonderful is that? And, and I think that emphasises that people outside the Isle of Man are watching what we're doing. And, uh, and maybe this is what this festival is also about, you know, that's uh, raising awareness about what the wonderful things is happening here. So to get a letter from the... I mean, it is a bit special, I suppose, do, isn't it? Do you get to call a Liz now? <laughs> Not quite yet. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We'll but, see. Bill, it's great. You're in, uh, showing us around here and introducing us to some people. Uh, who have we got here now? Right. Now, this lad is David Smith, and he's a member of the college, the University College, Isle of Man. And David and a, and a gang of about 12 of us, I think yeah. it is, we're going to the Isle of Arran in July. And these guys are here fundraising today for that trip. So Beach Buddies is teaming up. And David and his team are going to come with us to set up Isle of Arran Beach Buddies. How exciting. How do you feel about that, David? It's like an amazing experience. It's like, Bill, like, without Bill, we wouldn't be cleaning any more beaches. So we're trying to show what we're capable of. Um, Sorry, capable of when we reach TR of Aaron. Wonderful. And so you are fundraising. Um, how much money do you need, you know? Like 3000 That's quite a significant amount. But, I mean, great that UCM is involved in this. Um, have you been out with Beach Buddies? Yeah, just a few times. Like, before Easter, we had the stalactite cave, um, cave walk with Andy North. So... He's been helping people like getting over the fear of jumping over obstacles and of such when they're in the caves. And we cleaned out near the Manor pub, you know, with all the litter going on there. So we collected a ton and a half, I think. That's incredible. And Bill really is the youth of the island who really are making such a difference here. Well, uh, David, on they, the, the job at Williston around the, the manor, as he says, my goodness, the amount of stuff that we picked up that day, they did a great job, you know, and, and I know that when we go to Aaron, they're going to be so keen because they've done beach cleaning with us as well quite a few times now. This is going to be a great trip, and uh, they're, they are a lovely bunch of kids, so honestly, this is, uh, and, and, and I hope that it's going to give them a little bit more to add to their CV, you know, when they come back, so that maybe when they're looking for a job, because the jobs are not easy to find when you're young sometimes. And these guys are, uh, are in a group which is keen to find work, so we're going to add this to their CV. And, and honestly, I mean, you've met David now. This is a representative of a lovely bunch of people, honestly. Really is. David, well done. We're all so proud of you, and enjoy your trip to Aaron. Thank you. Uh, this is Late Lunch, live from the Isle of Man Environment Festival. And uh, also, as we said, there's lots of different people here, and, and there are porpoises here as well. We have Perkin the porpoise on a table here, on the Manx Whale and Dolphin Watch table. Uh, just introduce yourself for me. I'm Brian, I'm a researcher. Brian, it's lovely to speak to you today. I was particularly excited to come over and look at this table because usually I say, no dolphins around the Isle of Man are a complete myth. And then I saw a huge pod, there must have been about 20 or 30 of them off uh, Douglas Head, just as I was at work the On other your day. birthday? On my birthday, genuinely, it was like, they... There are dolphins. Yeah. There are <laughs> dolphins, but there's a lot more than just dolphins, isn't there? Yeah, we have um, three species of dolphin that we see around the island, then the porpoise, perkin, and minke whales as well. Yeah, again, we've seen those off Douglas Head too, and it is quite easy to spot them. And I think you guys have an app, don't you, so you can actually be yeah. notified. Yeah, so some people are on our WhatsApp group, um, which unfortunately is full now. So many people are interested in spotting them that um, we've, we're full up. But we'd, we'd love to produce an app to help people spot that in the future. But we also have our Facebook page and our website, which has recent sightings on, so you can keep an eye on what's going on. And an event like this of this nature is so crucial to a group like yourselves to get that awareness out there because the threats are real to these animals, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Like everyone knows about the plastic now that's become much more, um, much bigger awareness about that. So, but just people understanding what these animals are, what they need, what habitats that needs are. Um, and just like we have examples of different threats down here, things like noise pollution from boats and how to drive your boat around the, the animals so you don't disturb them, all of this kind of stuff, which you can only come through understanding these animals and knowing that they're here in the first place. So, yeah, really important. And it's also coming up to basking shark season, I guess, and that's one of those things where a lot of people with kayaks and, like say, boats and things to make sure they don't approach them. Yeah, basking sharks, people think, oh, they're just really friendly filter feeders and they, of course, they won't bite you or anything, but um, they're huge animals, you know, eight plus meters. And if they flick their tail really quickly, they can really cause some damage, tip you out of your kayak, 
They could cut your skin even um, if you swam really close. So you've got to respect these big animals and give them a bit of space. And they'll behave more naturally that way. And then you'll see them for longer, see them doing amazing things. So yeah, definitely. So exciting. The things that we have around our island, in our seas, on our lands as well. Thank you so much for talking to us today. Do check out the Manx Whale and Dolphin Watch table here at the Environment Festival. We're going to be talking to some more people. Uh, be here from three as well. Do you know what we need from Ben? What? We need a disco diva track for today. We're going to yeah, get idea. him to think of one. We'll get him uh, to think of one. In yeah. the meantime, it is just about 20 to three, so time for the latest Guild news. Let's join Judith Lay.